Hello and welcome to the 8th Wall Reinforcement Getting Started video. In this tutorial, we will explore the implementation of fabric sheets. Fabric reinforcement is a layer of fabric sheets made of welded fabric wire and hosted in a concrete element. These sheets are typically arranged in a pattern where welded wire sheets overlap ensuring continuous load transfer from one sheet to the next. These sheets may be present in one or multiple layers within the concrete element. A new tab on the left-hand side called Fabric Sheet Reinforcement lets you define settings for layout of fabric sheets. Fabric Area Settings allow you to quickly create fabric sheet layouts on selected walls. Let's place a new item. First, select Sheet Type from fabric sheets available in your project. Major River means that the selected bar of the sheet, vertical or horizontal, will be closer to the exterior or interior side of the wall. If you enter a distance below the exterior cover value, which is a distance from the external side of the wall, it will position it nearer to the exterior side of the wall. If you put a distance below the interior cover value, it will be closer to the interior side of the wall. Keep in mind that along with these cover settings, wall river cover settings will also have an effect. River cover values should be smaller than the cover settings that you define in fabric area exterior interior cover parameters. To make it easier, there are options in common settings to change river cover settings automatically each time you use wall reinforcement on the wall. Sheet layout direction allows to choose if sheets will be distributed horizontally or vertically. Under Horizontal Layout Rule tab, choose from which side of the wall sheet layout will start. From Start, End or from Both. Under Vertical Layout Rule tab, choose from which side of the wall sheet layout will start vertically. From Bottom, Top or from Both. Lab Splice Position shows an option for sheets layout in fabric area boundary. If you choose Aligned, fabric sheets will be placed in rows and columns. Lab splices in both directions lie on the same line. If you choose Major Halfway Stagger, fabric sheets will be placed in rows and every other row is shifted by half the length of one fabric sheet with respect to the preceding row. By choosing Major Passing Stagger, fabric sheets will be placed in rows. Every row starts with a whole fabric sheet, which is placed on the left and right side of the row alternately. The last fabric sheet in the row is cut to fit the fabric boundary. Minor Halfway Stagger means that fabric sheets are placed in columns. Every other row is shifted by half the length of one fabric sheet with respect to the preceding column. If you choose minor passing stagger, fabric sheets are placed in columns. Every column starts with a whole fabric sheet, which is placed on the top and bottom side of the column alternately. The last fabric sheet in the column is cut to fit the fabric boundary. To have just one sheet, as opposed to a sheet layout, create a fabric sheet type that is bigger than the wall size. Major and minor lap splice length is an overlapping distance for sheets in major and minor directions. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.